Hey everybody, it's your friend Sarmade here, and we're back with another episode of Land of the Vikings. Hope you're having a fantastic and amazing day today. In this episode, we are going to work on our defense, and uh, we have some storage issues happening, as well as continuing to recover from our devastating loss in the last episode. So that's what's on the schedule for today. Uh, we were working on a couple of poor houses over in here. Uh, we got those built up and I got five more on the way. That was to help with the homeless problem that started to occur after we lost a bunch of poor houses from the raid. So we have the homeless problem under control for now. Up over in here, I was looking at this and we have tons of grain, 1,000. And then I was looking at our windmills. Uh, we need maybe more windmills, but further problem is that building storage is full is full is full so we have three of these warehouses over in here uh, i think what we're gonna do but until we can start exporting those goods we are gonna need a little bit more storage going on so that's what i'm gonna start working on right now i uh, will get a little bit of a warehouse going right there and then we have a similar issue going on down south here i noticed right there with the brewery and then here we go we got another full warehouse so let's come over in here and get a couple more of these guys going on in this little area. We are needing it, obviously. So we'll get that happening. I'm trying to watch for uh, places to auto assign. I wonder why that didn't replace workers. That was there. <laughs> uh, but anyways, we are also going around making sure that we have our animal numbers under control. And we are getting our white meat in that case. Uh, our farms are doing great. It is nearly winter, so whatever is left in the fields won't uh, make it, obviously. So that's coming along. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Slow down just a second here. Uh, so a couple things. We have a lot of beer. 187. So that's, I think that's the most we've ever had. Uh, and we have 10 points in the Tree of Life, which is amazing. Um, so what I want to do, we are going to work on some defense stuff, right? Because that was our problem in the last episode. Why we lost, right? We didn't have enough defense. So there's a couple ways to handle that. We can do more shields and stuff around town like we did a little bit in the last episode but i also would like to push to these more advanced uh, warriors here so we have heavy infantry a shield maiden and berserkers so with that we have to go to the tree of life now what i would really like to check out is increase the death upper limit from old age meaning people live longer uh, that would be great but I think this is a little bit more pressing over in here to try and get our military and defense a little bit more hashed out and working a little bit better. So what we're going to do, we're going to go for warrior training increased by 5%, which is going to open up power of armor. Heavily armored warriors can be trained for eight points, and that's right what we got. So let's go ahead and get that unlocked. We also have mission dispatch slot increased by one. Um, and looks like there's two of those, so not too bad. Looks like we got another node next and another node next. A very similar situation on this branch here. Okay, so we got the Heavy Warrior. Now, what does that take to actually create 20 silver, one heavy armor, a shield, and weapon parts? Okay, so we have the shield. Uh, heavy armor, we have 53. And then weapon parts, we have 14. So we should be able to make at least six of these people. So let's go ahead. Oh, we can sort by birthday. Nice. Uh, we will go ahead and try and get as many as we can get. All right, that's six and six shields. So that should be it. We'll get those people trained up and that should help our defense, which would be excellent. Okay, so we got that going on. And then while we have this beer before it all goes away, <laughs> let's see if we can set up some things here. So we have exploration and we have raid. What we have never done before is a raid so let's see if we can manage this so if we just take a quick look here uh we have lots of high numbers 114 159 on defiance we have 34 and so 18.7 is about uh, as low as i can find perfect overwalled uh in wales so we uh should be able to check this out so we can select our well let's go ahead and do this first we'll get our ship selected we're going to auto select the crew we'll select we need 80 food all right that ought to do it we have our 80 food we have um one of our we have two missions available we have 80 beer we have 50 silver we have eight days let's go ahead and do a raid and we'll see how this goes okay invite to the raid Ooh, ooh, interesting 
villages to be raided. Okay, so let's see. Okay, total war points and loot share, 50%, 33. Let's just see if we can do this. So our total war points are 10 and then their defiance is 18. So I'm going to assume here that we need to have at least 18.7 in order to beat these guys. Let's invite Upland to join us in this raid. We're at 19.1 total war points for a loot share of 50%. Let's go for it. Nine days till they return. All right, those guys are out and about and uh, we'll see how much beer we have left. I think it's going to take a minute for um, these guys to go through and then our beer is going to reduce. I tried to set up a trade thing here and it said we didn't have beer. So I'm just going to wait a second before we try again. Uh, the warriors are going to be gathering over here at the fort and we are going to uh, send them on their way. Okay, so let's see what we got, else we got going on here. We were mentioning a little bit about our windmills because we have a good amount of grain and uh, we should maybe put in another windmill so that we can start to produce a little bit more food from that. We'll grab our windmill here and uh, let's just go ahead and we'll plop it uh, right on the corner here. That'll work. So that'll get working. Let's see, we got a building over in here with no workers. We'll auto assign and replace. Um, something else that we could do, which we did over here before, is we can add some decorations to these warehouses to increase the storage a little bit. Um, we can do that here with uh, box A and B. We got three barrels. So let's go ahead and we'll grab a couple boxes. And uh, we'll just go ahead and kind of put a couple of them down. Kind of make it look like a little thing here. Just got a shipment in. Got stuff to put that's in the road. <laughs> we don't want that one in the road. So we'll take that one out of there. But there we go. So now that should increase a little bit our uh, our limit on here. So that's good. And uh, yeah, well, like I said, once we can export that stuff, that's going to be the key here. Okay, so these guys hopefully are well on, on their way now. Let's see. The warship has sailed and it's on duty. They got ten crew. It's gone. Okay, and now we have 132 beer left. So let's come over in here, send the trade ship. We can select our ship, the NAR here, auto select crew. We have enough beer. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. So we can load the ship up with resources and then say use as food. And it looks like we only need 20. So that's okay, we can handle that. So there we go, we got that set up. Oh, let's make a bunch of money here. It looks like according to this, we have plenty of iron. So let's go ahead and let's load this up. Okay, so here's our weight. Okay, we can get a good chunk of that iron on there. And you can see the weights here. We got five for the iron. And then wool is quite considerable, 650 and 0.8. But we can see here the iron at max sell price of being 20 uh, is significantly higher than the wool at five. But we should be able to load up lots of wool on here. Let's see what we can do. All right, that's about max. So it looks like we are going to get approximately 466 silver for this trade. All right, so let's send it out and we'll see what we can get for that. So something else that we should probably do. Let's build another NAR. We'll do replace workers there. Let's get the trade ships going. It's something that we really haven't done. Obviously, that's our first time setting out a trade vessel. So it'd be a good thing, I think, to start doing a little bit more up. So we'll get to on the way here uh, and then we I want to continue to build some more houses over in here we got our new warehouse built it looks like and uh, we got one more up over in here as well oh and then we have another justice dilemma uh, we have been saying just have them pay for the loss so one thing that would be nice is a little bit more variety in the events that occur in this game uh, we've had I feel like there's like two events that happen. So that would be a nice thing to add in a little bit more variety. Let's go ahead and mark a couple of these trees out. And then once those go, I want to continue to work on this little uh, this poor house area over in here. Um, we'll continue to do that. We've got that tree there that's going to kind of be in our way for a little bit here, but we'll just uh, build around it for now. And we'll just get a couple more of these poor houses going. Uh, We'll get that happening great and then we have some totems on this end but we don't really have any totems over here so we're in the life tree let's grab our four totems we have an odin totem oh we have the opening in the house for that uh, other house as well so we'll go ahead and get our poor house tucked in there great we got the odin totem and then we need the freya totem 
we'll get that right there and then let's go with Thor and then we have Tyr as well awesome okay great that little neighborhood is good to go with our totems this windmill is nearly complete we got four more points in our tree of life so let's come back up over in here and let's see what we can do we have two points mission dispatch thought increased by one we want to have that because we're going to be trading a little bit more and that unlocked the shield maiden for us special unit of strong female warriors shield maiden can be trained so i'm wondering if this one is the berserker i guess we can find out can't we there it is okay so we need 18 more points to get both of these shield maiden are six that's the one we're going to target next it really didn't take us that long to get the four points there so yeah we'll see what we can do it looks like we got a trade vessel rolling up hopefully it's a trade vessel oh but something to note look at this because we sent our warriors off to raid our defense is really really low interesting so uh, poor timing could be quite costly with that and let's get another tower going on over in here something we might want to do a little bit more of get some more towers in here maybe some walls up auto assign replace and then let's go visit the merchant that pulled up okay uh lots of uh, food of course i've been like i said before i've been buying all the food when they pull up um and do we have any wintry clothes we don't let's buy what they have all right that'll work so since we don't have any clothes that's a good thing we can look at doing a little bit more of we have we have tailors around but we probably don't have enough tailors it's been a while since i built one and there's a little area right here that'll work just great and then we can check out our carpenter get that replaced get this replaced all right good okay so we have we're doing great on grains and barley i remember we were trying to accumulate enough to keep us through the winter and it looks like we are going to achieve that we're about a quarter of the way through winter and so that's headed in the right direction at least okay and we got our windmill good to go go ahead and get some more food from that more houses coming up good things are working out quite nicely let's just check on this what are we can we see where they're at four days to return all right we'll see what happens uh, i'm excited to see what we get it'd be cool it'd be cool to see that okay and then over in here we have our trade vessel and then click on this oh the raid has begun our warriors have arrived they are ready to attack at any moment what kind of strategy are we planning attack by night and silently prepare and attack attack on sunday and then escape a huge amount of fame is lost oh boy okay so we have a critical success with eight percent chance success with 32 oh that's not great <laughs> all right well 47 percent chance of failing um i wonder okay well I guess we attack by night and go slowly uh we'll see how this works out i didn't see anything about our allies that we invited with so i don't know if they joined us I, i'm assuming they just they do but we'll see wow we won our warriors have successfully looted the village and will return home with the loot our valiant warriors are sent to valhalla six light warriors six coal we got some fruit bread some meat so eh, no, no nothing really like super duper but uh we got a lot of fame that's cool great so our warriors will come back only four of them will come back uh, that's not very great return uh but now let's see we should have some heavy infantry right so that's kind of cool what about the blacksmith we had some blacksmith but the shields have been kind of low here so maybe if we can find our blacksmith or better yet we should be able to just build another one uh to continue to maintain our new demand on uh, warriors now that we know that we're going to need uh, a lot more to defend our village blacksmith will work fantastic right there okay so we'll get that coming in we've got a new watchtower let's go for a couple more watchtowers what are these providing us it doesn't tell me specifically how much uh, we're getting per watchtower, but it does say significant amount, whatever that means. So we'll just get a couple uh, little, little more watchtowers here, sprinkled about. We can go like right that, and then we'll go get one right there. Sure, that'll work. 
and then let's tuck one more back over in here for now and then we'll see what we're looking at 21 right now for our defense point and we're at four points in the tree of life so two more and we'll be able to check out our shield maidens i'm pretty excited about those guys okay um where is our training guy here it is so we just need to wait a little bit more what are these guys going to require so heavy armor shield and then weapon parts we probably won't be able to make them right away but what about light armor we have 35 light armor and weapon parts again hmm. so maybe we want to do another blacksmith and we'll just really go for it on these blacksmiths here um kind of running out of good space for this type of thing found a sweet spot right there we'll get that going and then we'll check that out in just a moment it looks like we have our trade ship back and now we have six points in the tree of life so you know what that means we're going to go ahead and grab our shield maidens and then at the tippy top of this branch warrior power increased by five percent hey that's pretty decent all right so now let's go back to our training camp train troop and then let's see we have shield maidens but curse no shields but we knew about that i guess we that's why we put the uh we put the blacksmiths in, which are still being worked on a little bit around here. Here is our merchant ship. It is idle now. So yeah, they have returned and uh, we're good to go for that. And then this one, we still have the warship on duty. So I'm not sure uh, why it isn't back yet, but we're still waiting on that guy to come back. Uh, we do have um, some newcomers arriving soon. So we got uh, to build a couple more houses over in here. We can work on that quick, lay down a couple of them. And oh, look at this. Our merchant ship is back in eight hours and we got 507 silver. Okay, came back with 20 iron and 42 wool. So we didn't sell everything, but look at that, 1600 coins, excellent. So what we're gonna definitely have to do is continuously set up some trade routes and have lots and lots of trades going on. So we did settlement problem in the village uh, we have newcomers have caused a settlement problem in the village. Foreigners have tents. Okay, we're going to promise them a new home. We already have the houses starting. I'll uh, go ahead and we'll just throw in a couple more for good measure. Okay, so we got that going on. Let's go back to our trade ships. Send trade ship. We should be able to do this here. Let's see. Auto select crew again. Uh, we should have enough beer. It looks good. All right, so let's set this up one more time. We got some fish here that we can a lot for food there we go easily done okay so we have the fish set up and we could let's go for some iron again we still have tons of that let's sell some uh leather and it looks like that's about max that we can do i'm wondering you know i'm wondering if um variety is gonna be uh, the way to go here for a more beneficial um, trade expedition here so let's uh, let's do a little bit more variety than we did last time we have a decent amount we got it all set up let's send them back out and then we have oh we got another one ready to go all right great so do we have any open slots let's see can we wait can we just do oh this is great we can just send ship after ship apparently i was wondering i was thinking we could only do the two but i'm not seeing anything uh marked here that's restricting us in that way so we got that good let's go go ahead and we'll send some more iron we got still got tons of leather and we're over cap again i'm gonna go right there send it all right we might need another trade dock holy cow that that's great okay so we could also we got plenty of beer wow that worked out pretty great for us i was thinking we could do another raid but let's just hold up for now Let's get a little bit more shields going on. Uh, we got our blacksmith. Oh, our tailor is good to go over in here. We will auto assign and replace. And we got to find our blacksmith. So we did just put a couple of them down. It looks like our watchtowers are coming together. And we are at 29 defense. So that's uh, that's great. Our blacksmith still getting worked on, it looks like. So it should be done soon. I've been trying to keep our builder limits up to like 100. As I've been doing for... Uh, quite a few episodes now and it looks like i've forgotten about it for a while so let's replenish this let's go for like our worship is returning great we'll go like that farmers i'm also keeping up at like a hundred uh just because before it just didn't seem like it was enough so if our warship is back we'll see that pulling in shortly here 
Great. Okay, let's come back over in this area. What do we got here? Something is not working. I just gather a hut. It's also not working because it is winter, of course. Mark some more trees. Always gotta be marking those trees. And let's check these chickens. Goat ranch, I mean. Okay, we'll get these goats going on. Let's go for 16. And then we have chicken right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll go for we'll go for 16 chicken on that one. Uh, so we need to build two more houses. We got them coming along. But we should probably get a road going for these guys. All right, that'll be good. Get that happening. Okay, so with the new warriors that are coming in, and we will have more blacksmiths coming in for even more warriors. We got some trading figured out. Nice, things are coming along pretty great for us right now. Pretty happy that we got this trading thing finally figured out. That's going to help to alleviate the pressure on all of our storage buildings like this we got back here. We're doing really great on both these grains and barleys, and it's springtime. So we are now producing enough of both grain and barley to sustain us through winter, which is just fantastic. We really need that beer going on so that we can continue to do our rating, of course. And I think it sure wouldn't hurt to throw in yet another brewery just to maintain that success that we've been having. So let's go ahead. We'll find a decent little spot. You know, I would like to clear these guys out of here. Uh, we failed the new houses. We knew that already. Uh, that isn't great, but wait, we failed the new houses. Oh, oh, that isn't great. Yeah, well, I was hoping that we could do that. That sucks. <laughs> we need three more days for the soldiers. Uh, we don't have any shields yet still, so uh, we kind of screwed up our missions there, it looked like, but uh, that's okay, hopefully. We'll see. Okay, so 33 defense rating. That's pretty good. Let's see if we can do anything more about that. We got plenty of watchtowers we can tuck in places, hopefully. There'll be one right there. These ones I like a little bit more than trying to build a wall. Wall just, I feel like it's going to take way more wood than we really care to spend on it. Uh, but we could make a substantial difference in our uh, defense points. And maybe it's something to uh, explore here at some point. Uh, oh, so it looks like our little good house neighborhoody area is uh, building quite well. Let's get a couple more of these guys going. I like the good houses, but um, they take a lot to get built up. And then these guys are coming along as well. So yeah, we'll continue to run up these back and forth, these roads, and get some more poor houses going over in this direction. Uh, Food-wise, we're, we're kind of hurting a little bit. 411 food. Uh, we might need to focus on that a little bit more before it becomes a problem. And of course, we could do that with some more windmills like we talked about a little bit earlier. We did get the one built up, but let's go ahead and uh, let's explore for another one. And then let's get our uh, other windmill tucked in over in here, I think. Uh, a little bit further away from most of our other stuff, but we'll also sneak a path in here. Like so, get that happening. Okay. Uh, oh, we already have a marketplace going on over in here. That's decent. Uh, let's go ahead and yeah, we'll do this because it doesn't look like we have a marketplace very close for these guys. So we'll get that happening. Get that built up. Uh, we have six points, so we're waiting on a couple more before we can get some heavy warriors. And uh, we still need those five soldiers and we still need the shields. OK, so shields too. finally. Okay, let's go over in here. Train our troops. Let's find our shield maidens. And then let's sort by uh, age, a laborer, and a laborer. Okay, so that's our two shields. And weapon parts, we have 10. All right, so there's our two shield maidens. Let's go ahead and get them trained up. And then we're at nine points in our tree of life. Okay, so our ships will be back. Oh, they're back. Let's see what we got. Uh, we got some fish sold, iron sold. Oh, these are all what we sell. Okay, return with 533 silver. Excellent. Blacksmith, good to go. Let's do this. This is the building where iron tools, swords, and shields are produced. Great. Uh, how do we... Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so our shields are our... Let's do our shields as priority right now. And then iron tools as a lesser priority. Got that set up, and then we'll come back over in here when this one's ready, and we'll do the same thing. Our Nars are back, so we should probably set up another trade expedition. 
Uh, what are we gonna need? 20 food again? Okay, how are we looking for fish? We can do that here. Use as a food. And so, let's see, we have a good amount of leather, good amount of iron. Let's do that again. And lo still lots of wool, so we'll put a bunch on there. And then we'll go about like that, and we'll go as far as we can go with that. Okay, great. We'll send this ship out, and then let's look at our next one. And then let's do the same deal. Auto select, and then we are going to need our 20 fruits for food. Excellent. So let's go ahead and we'll load this thing up with some leather and some iron. Do that, 132, and then of course a little bit more wool. Send that ship as well. So two more ships going out to get us some more money. We're looking great on silver. Over 3,000 silver right now. Super awesome. Okay, and 37 uh, defense points. That's looking great. It looks like our shield maidens have a couple more days for training still, and we've just sent off our merchant ship, so that'll be back. And I think we're going to have to check out the Berserkers in the next episode. We win one more point, but we'll easily have that in the next one. But that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for coming in and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Land of the Vikings. Have a fantastic and amazing rest of your evening, day, or night.